Okay, let's pick back up here and talk about the different structures of mortgages. How they can be structured, the different payment structures. Uh, and I'm on page 4, uh, 10, 4, 11 in the textbook. So the most common structure for a mortgage is the fixed rate, fully amortized loan. So let's talk about what fully amortized means. Fully amortized means that you are paying the loan down to a balance of zero over the course of the term. So if you have a fully amortized loan, when you make your last payment, what's the balance on that loan going to be? Zero. This is by far the most common structure. What do you think the fixed rate part means? The interest rate is going to do what? Stay the same over the life of the loan. So. The interest rate is going to stay the same, and the balance of the loan is going to be paid down to zero with the last payment. Now, this is what a fully amortized fixed rate loan looks like. And we've seen that with our little chart. The payment stays the same all the way across, and more of it goes toward interest in the beginning, and more goes toward principal in the end. We can also have what's called a partially amortized loan. Well, if fully amortized means I pay it down to zero with my last payment, what do you think partially amortized is going to mean? There's still a balance. That's why our friend the balloon is here. That balance that's still due at the end of the loan is called a balloon payment. So in a partially amortized loan, there's still going to be a large balance due at the end called a balloon payment. And you either have to pay that all in one payment, or what do you think you could also do to avoid making that one big payment? Take, take out money. another loan for the balloon amount. You would simply take out a new loan for the balloon amount. This is the most common type of loan in commercial real estate. In commercial real estate, we very rarely find fully amortized loans. The reason is this. Commercial lenders are very reluctant to lend money for 30 years. Because in commercial real estate, say you were buying Crabtree Valley Mall, is retail going to look different 30 years from now? Would you be very reluctant as a lender to lend somebody money for the next 30 years on a shopping mall? I would. So I might lend them money for five years or seven years. The problem is, if we only lend the money for five or seven years and we make it a fully amortized loan, what do you think that payment's going to look like? Crazy high, because for them to be able to pay it down to zero in five years, the payment's going to be astronomical. Does that make sense to everybody? So what we do is we only lend the money for five years, but we amortize the payment over 25 or 30 years. In other words, they're making a payment that it would take them 25 years to pay it off, but they're only paying it for how long? five years. That's why the balance is left at the end. Does that make sense for you guys? That's called a balloon payment. So what would you do if you bought Crabtree Valley Mall in five years when that loan came due? You'd probably do what? Take out another loan and refinance it. Take out another partially amortized loan and refinance it. Alright? Uh, we don't need to talk about that. We've done amortization. Okay, I can see both of those. Usury, about the only thing you need to know about usury is these are laws that govern how much interest can be charged. That's, yeah, I can't imagine you seeing anything else about usury on uh, an exam. These are just laws that govern how much interest, and they, they set limits on the amount of interest that can be charged. We do need to talk about discount points, however. Yes? Or, um, just to backtrack a little bit, the you said the laws that govern how much interest they can charge, does that change like year by year or is it just like... No, these are, these are, these are very rarely change. And the limits we're talking about are astronomical limits. That's why you'll never be asked much about usury laws. Okay. Like in North Carolina, the usury rate is 59%. So as long as you're not charging more than 59% interest, you're not violating state law. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You'll never deal with this in a real estate related thing. Just know that each state does have laws that govern how much you can charge in interest rates and they're called usury laws. Okay. All right. So, discount points. Now, 
This is something we do need to talk about. So a discount point is prepaid interest. If I'm taking out a mortgage loan, how is the note holder going to make money off of me over the course of that loan? With the interest. With the interest. What if I told you the note holder would be willing to lower my interest rate in exchange for some upfront money? They'd be willing to give me a lower interest rate for the next 30 years if I pay them an upfront, upfront payment of interest right now. How do you feel about that? Does that make sense? In other words, they're trading money now for money later. Why would I do that? What would be the advantage to me of paying it up front? But if, if I'm paying interest anyway, what's the advantage? There's got to be some advantage to me. Well, yeah, it's lower annually, but I'm still paying interest either way. You haven't got there's something that's lower, but it's not that it's just lower annually. Why is it better for me to pay it up front? Doesn't change the principal. You might qualify for. Um, you could qualify for a loan that way. Maybe I qualify for a higher loan amount, but you still haven't hit on it. Good, like a hedge. Why do you think we call it a discount point? What do thing? What do people do if you pay for things in advance? They sell it to you what? Oh. Cheaper. So what do you think a discount point accomplishes? What do you think that trade-off is? If I pay interest now, not only will they lower my interest rate, but I'll actually save money over the term of that loan. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because the amount they're going to lower my interest rate is going to be much more in savings than what I pay up front. It's not dollar for dollar, otherwise that'd be stupid as hell. Nobody, why would I pay $5,000 right now to save $5,000 in interest over the next 30 years? How much interest do you think I'm going to save over the next 30 years? Four, fifty, sixty thousand dollars for that five thousand. Does that make it worthwhile, Drew? Maybe. It's always a maybe sort of thing. That's a discount point. It's an upfront payment of interest to save significantly more interest over the life of the loan. Because in exchange for you paying that fee right now on the day of closing, when you get that loan. We're going to lower your interest rate over the whole life of the loan. Does everybody understand the concept here of what we're doing? Yeah. All right. So now we need to talk about the math of discount points. So eight is the magic number when it comes to discount points. Eight is going to be your magic number. Now, here's why eight is the magic number. Every discount point you buy is going to change the interest rate on your loan by one eighth of a percent. So that's like taking a piece of pe uh, taking a pizza and cutting it in how many slices? Eight. That's an eighth, right? So if I wanted to lower my interest rate by one full percent, how many discount points would I need to buy? I need to buy eight of them. Each one that I purchase is going to lower my interest rate by one eighth of a percent. Not one percent, but one eighth of a percent. So for example, if I wanted to lower my interest rate from four and an eighth to four, I'd have to buy what? One point. If I wanted to lower it from four and a quarter to four, I'd have to buy two points. If I wanted to lower it from 4.375 to 4, I'd have to buy 3 points. If I wanted to lower it from 4.5 to 4, I'd have to buy 4 points. Each point is going to change the rate by 1 eighth of a percent. Here's the thing, you don't have to remember any of that I just said. Do you have a calculator in front of you? What does 1 eighth look like when you write it down? 1 divided by... Hey, can you type that into your calculator? That's how much it's going to change the interest rate. Take that in. Every discount point will change that rate by what? 0.125%. That is the change in your interest rate. All right? So just real quickly, I want you to tell me how many points you need to buy to change the interest rate 
from 5.25 to 5. All right? So you write it down. Write those two numbers down. You're going from 5.25 to 5. You want to buy that rate down. So the first thing you need to do is figure out how much you changed it, right? So how are you going to do that? 5.25 minus what? 5. Five. So what, how much did we change it? 0.25, right? Yeah. How much does each point change the rate? 0.125, right? So take 0 0.1, 0 0.25 and divide it by 0.125. How many discount points you need? Two points. Two points. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, ma'am. So whatever you start with, you would subtract that from what you want to get to, and then whatever that number is, you multiply by point one two five. Not multiply by, divide, divide by, by okay. divide by point one two five. Okay. Because each one changes it point one two five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Are we good on that? How about if I told you you wanted to change it point five? How many discount points would that take? Four, right? Point five divided by point one two five would be four. Four points. Is everybody all right with that? Three, six, seven. It doesn't matter. It's always going to be point one two five for each one. So, how much would six discount points change the rate? Each one changes at what? 0.125, so 0.125 times what? Six. Six. How much is the rate going to change? 0.75%, right? So if the rate was 4.75, what's the rate now going to be? 0.75. Four. It changes at 0.75. That's not the new rate. That's the change. What you just calculated is not the new rate. What you calculated is how much the rate changed. Okay. Okay. So if the rate was 4.75 and you changed it, 0.75, the new rate's going to be what? 4, because you're buying the rate down. You're not paying discount points for the rate to go up. You're paying discount points for the rate to go down. Does that make sense? So the other thing we need to know about discount points, remember what I keep saying, we're paying an upfront fee, right? We're paying money up front. Do you think we also have to calculate how much that discount point is going to cost? Yes. Here's how much a discount point cost. 1% of the loan amount. Not 1% of purchase price. 1% of the loan amount. That's how much the rate that the discount point costs. So the first thing you need to know is how many points you need to buy. And the second thing you need to know is how much each point costs. Does that make sense for you guys? So look at this example. It says Fred secured an $89,000 loan and was required to pay three discount points. How much did he pay in points? Well, how much is each point going to cost? 1% One percent of the loan amount. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what 1% of the loan amount is to get the, the amount per point. And that's $890, right? And how many points are we buying? Three. So. $2,670. Now, I did it the shortcut way here. I just do it times 3%, right? Because if it's each point is 1% and I'm buying three of them, can't I just multiply by 3% and do it all in one step? Yes. I wanted you to see that you could calculate the amount for one point and then multiply times three. It's the same thing. Either way, it works. Are we okay on being $2,670 for three discount points on that loan? Everybody okay with that? Now, this one says, what is the loan discount expense if the buyer is purchasing a $99,000 home and the lender is charging two and a half points? So, each point is going to cost what? 1% of the loan amount. We have to assume the loan amount here is the same $99,000 because they didn't tell us the loan to value ratio. So, 
how many discount points are we buying? Two and a half. Two and a half. So we can do it either way. We can either figure out one point, what it costs, and multiply that times 2.5, or we could just take the 99,000 and multiply times what? 2.5%. So if we do that, we come up with $2,475 in discount points. So what that means is that at closing, I'm going to have to pay the lender $2,475. Just out of curiosity, what am I going to get for that? What's going to happen? A lower what? A lower interest rate on my loan. And how much lower is it going to be? Not 2.5. No, 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 no. How much does each discount point change that rate? One eighth or point one two five, right? So if you wanted to find out how much the rate was going to change, what would you have to do? <clears throat> Multiply point one two five times how many points did you buy? Two point five. So do that. How much is the rate going to change? Point three one two five. So that rate would be 0.3125% lower as a result of buying those two and a half discount points. Does everybody see that? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> no, I don't see that. You don't see what? What part of it? Okay, so Talk to me. you were trying, I guess, so after, I, I got this, this question, but then you asked another question, and it, what, what was the... How do we work that question? What, what question, question did I ask? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, <laughs> all right. So what was the first question? What is the loan amount? No, um, that's not the question. So I mean the loan amount, the discount. The discount points, 2 .5, yeah. right? When you buy something, don't you want to know what you're buying? Yes. All right, I asked you what you were buying. This is how much it cost. I asked you what you bought. How much it cost was $24.75. Why were we paying $24.75? lower, um, to get a better, well, to shave off the interest, basically. Uh-huh. How much did we shave off? That was the second question. I want to know how much you bought the rate down. How much did my interest rate change as a result of paying this twenty four seventy five? Okay. And how much does one discount point change the interest rate? Twenty one through five. Okay. And how many discount points did we buy? So we took 0.125 and we multiplied times the number of points that we bought, 2.5, and that's going to tell us how much we got in exchange. We got a rate change of what? 0 0.3125. 0 0.3125. So in exchange for paying $2,475, we got an interest rate that was 0.3125% lower than we ordinarily would have. Does that make sense? Kind of getting it here? Yeah. Discount points? Good. All right. So, let's go back to our little worksheet here. <coughs> On our worksheet, number... 11. It says Sam is offered a mortgage loan at 5.5% interest and purchases three discount points. What will his new rate be after the points are applied? So, are we talking about how much money we have to pay for the points or are we talking about the rate change part? Which one are we talking about? We're talking about the rate change. They didn't ask us anything about how much he would have to pay for it. So, how much is each discount point going to change the rate? Point. point one, two, five. And remember, if you can't remember that number, it's just one divided by eight, right? It's all because an, a discount point changes the rate by one eighth of a percent, all right? So, point one, two, five times how many discount points? So, times three. What is that? Point three, seven, five? Yes. So, the rate changes point three, seven, five. Is it going up or down? Down. What did it start at? 5.5 minus 0.375. So my new rate is 
Everybody okay with that? My new interest rate is going to be 5 point. You guys didn't tell me I wasn't on the screen up there. Five point one two five. How do you feel about that? Okay, I get it now because I, I stopped, but there was an extra step you had to subtract. Right, because you start you you. This is the change, right? This is how much it changed, but it changed from here. So we had to go back to that and say, all right, this is where we started. This is how much it changed, so this is where we are now. Okay. We good with that? All right, let's look at number twelve. How many discount points? would be required to buy an interest rate down from 6.25% to 6%. We want to buy it down from 6.25 to 6. So, we need to figure out how much we changed it. Would you agree with that? Yeah. What did we start at? 6.25. 6.25, and what did we end up at? 6. So how much did it change? 0.25. And how much does each one change it? 0.125. So we just divide that by 0.125. And how many points did it take? Two points. Okay? Still alright with that? Go ahead and work on number 13. Number 13 is a little bit more involved. Remember, it's not how much you purchase a home for, it's a loan amount. Discount points is a loan-based expense. about that number? $7,524. Because the first thing we need to know when we're talking about how much we're paying for discount points is how much the what is? The loan amount. And in this case, the loan amount is 90% of that $418,000 purchase price, right? Everybody agree with that? Okay. And we're buying two discount points, so we're paying 2% of the loan amount. So $376,200 loan amount times 2%, discount points are going to cost us $7,524. And we would pay that right at closing. That's a fee we would pay to the lender up front in exchange for them lowering the rate by two-eighths of a percent. Everybody okay? All right. Then go ahead and do number 14.
So whenever you're being asked how much you have to pay for discount points, you need to know two things, right? The number of points you have to buy and the cost of each point. Does that make sense for everybody? We need to know both pieces. They didn't tell us either one, did they? They didn't tell us the number of points and they didn't tell us the cost per point. So we have to calculate both of those things. So I, what I did first was look at the number of points. The number of points is going to be based on the change in the interest rate, correct? So I took the original rate and subtracted the reduced rate to get that we changed it by how much? 0.75%. And then I divided that 0.75 by the 0.125 that each point would change it. So that told me I needed how many points? Six points. I got to buy six points. Is everybody getting that clicked in? And each point is going to cost me what? 1% of the loan amount. So I took my loan amount of $215,000 and multiplied it times 6%. So to buy that rate down by 0.75%, I need to pay $12,900. That big charge at closing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good stopping place for today. We've done a significant amount of math, uh, talked a lot about finance. Obviously, on Wednesday, we are going to continue Chapter 14 and then Chapter 15. We'll be in finance the rest of this week. Uh, Thursday. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Thursday. Oh, before you go though, I do have a question for you. Let me stop the yeah. You got a problem? Yeah. That would be. Yeah, there's a couple.